I look crazy. Like, I've done nothing the last three days that I have been off. I don't even think I've brushed my hair. Or my teeth. <laughs> Mom life. But, y'all are gonna get ready with me, okay? I finally got Oak to sleep, so this should be really easy, but yeah, we'll see. This hair so long. I forgot like how much hair I've really had. So much hair. I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> I need a bobby pin. Fuck. It's okay. We'll make it work for now. So yeah, you guys are gonna get ready with me. I've been wanting to post a video for quite some time now. Oh, I found a bobby pin. I just feel like I need to post at least one video a week, right? Can you understand me right now? All right, I'll probably have to fix it out, but good enough. I just got a hoop nose ring. Uh, I had one before, but I had like a piercer put it in for me because I used to work at like a tattoo place, in, like a head shop basically. And so I had to look it up on YouTube. I had to put it in and it took me forever, I will say. Gotta put my, my toe of your face on. I'm getting down to the nitty gritty of it. But this has lasted me almost a year. Like, I can't even tell you. And you know, like, in the winter, whenever you put makeup on, and if you have, like, a dry patch, it'll show, like, through your makeup. I definitely didn't have any of those this year, and I think it was because of the face serum. Like it moisturizes so well. And you don't have to use a lot. I literally love it. But I always put my which I love your hair on my face. I don't know why. Please don't ask. But it just feels so good and I definitely think that's like I accused my face so beautiful. <laughs> I'm not trying to be vain. <laughs> uh, Y'all can like see me. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, you guys, let's get started because it's two of that. I have like an hour. I gotta switch out my clothes. I'll be right back. If you have me on Snapchat, I don't really do Instagram anymore. I don't know why, but. <laughs> it just got like so depressing. Like, not really like depressing because that's why I got off Facebook really, but I have no foundation left. I <laughs> can't believe that did that. It was just like to the point where, oh my god, dude. Alright, nothing's coming out, so I guess we're just gonna hit our target zones. It just got to the point where 
everyone just had to like, this is my perception of it. Everyone was just having to live the most interesting life ever. And that's what they put on Instagram. Like, maybe because my life is not that interesting, I just didn't care. And I don't want to say it's not that interesting, because it is quite entertaining for myself. But, it's like... Unless you're going to exotic places or eating exotic food or, I don't know, living your best life. Like, you're not relevant. Uh, that's okay with me. I don't care to be relevant. I don't care to try to prove that my life is interesting. It's all about likes and numbers and I know that's like kind of what YouTube is too but this is enjoyable for me like I enjoy just sitting on here and blabbing my mouth about god knows what and having fun it's like my me time in a way but I'm getting off subject this isn't even what I want to talk about follow me on snapchat then you know I went and got my nails and my toes done yesterday. And I've had plenty of pedicures. And I never really had a manicure before. Like, where you soak your fingers and like, they don't even, they didn't even massage my hands. Like, what is a manicure? What is a manicure? I'll tell you what a manicure is. So, she put this little stuff on my fingers put my hands in bowls and she takes these little like clippers of hell that's all I can tell you like the worst I imagine them being like tools to get people to tell you information in the CIA or something like a torture tool that's how I thought of these whatever it was that she was using and she is doing it and she's like clipping away around all the skin around my fingernails. I guess you're not allowed to have skin around your fingernails. I don't know. I don't know. But it hurt so bad. I probably sat there like if I could have seen my face it probably looked like I was constipated or something because I'm just like like oh my god and they're so sore y'all like I wanted to tell her not to do it anymore, but I didn't want to look like a big baby. And she even asked me like, oh, do you come here all the time? And I was just like, well, I live around here and I just always get my nails done here, like in high school and yada, yada, yada. I don't really get like acrylics anymore. I think they're really bad for your fingers. And so I just get like the gel polish and stuff. So I guess I'd never had a manicure before, or maybe I never had this so much skin that they had to cut it all off. Like, why do you cut it off? I don't understand. Can some, if someone knows, please leave me a comment and tell me because it blew my mind as to why you would inflict that kind of pain on people for fun. Like, I paid for this lady to cut all the skin off my fingers. Like, I could have done that at home. I don't know. I don't know y'all, I'm seriously traumatized. Never again will I get a manicure. And like my fingers are sore. Like I don't even know if you can see that. Like, no, it's like still red and sore and they were bleeding and maybe it was just the lady. I've never had problems with this like place that I go ever and the foot, the pedicure though was on point. I left him a great tip because, whoo, buddy, whoo. I told him, I was like, you're gonna put me to sleep. Like, I don't think you understood me, but you're gonna put me to sleep. This feels amazing. So yeah, that was my lovely first manicure experience. Never again. Will we do that again? No, 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 never.
you couldn't pay me <laughs> to go get a manicure. Bloody hell. No. <sighs> it just hurts so bad. Like, and I work with my hands. You know, obviously I'm a server. And I just hope that they work today. And if they don't work, I'm screwed. Because they're pretty sore, you guys. How does one enjoy inflicting pain on people? You have to be like a serial sociopath. Like, she's a paid torturer. And if she's watching this, I feel so sorry. I am not. You were great. We talked about our kids. Like, perfect. You were awesome. But it hurt. It hurt. It hurt. All right. That's enough about that. I'm not going to tell you guys where I went. I don't want to be sued or anything. Because she was, she was nice. Like, the service was good. The manicure was good. But she cut half my fingers off. You guys should have seen the clump of, this is so gross, I'm so sorry, of like skin on these thingies. Traumatizing. Where is my eyebrow stuff? Oh no. Not in here. Well, cool. Yes, if I can find it. I don't know, you guys. I'm just trying to treat myself. Y'all let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see. I get a lot of people telling me to do like Zodiac stuff, but um, I know I should. Like I did a make it, I guess someone asked me to do a skincare routine, but I just kind of showed you what I do. Like at night when I go to take my makeup off, I just use a cold rag and I take it off like I don't use makeup wipes or like face cleaner. There's like all those chemicals in it and it just makes my face worse. But that's just me and I have really oily skin and I wouldn't say my sins, my skin, my sins, <laughs> my sands, <laughs> my skin is sensitive, but it kind of is, you know, like. I, for a while, I started using foundation. I used to never use foundation. For a while, I started using my foundation and I f kept forgetting to take it off at night and I think my forehead started to break out really bad. It was so bad. Even my brother was like, what is going on, pepperoni face? I was like, have you? Even Wayne, my husband. I get it. I have zits on my face. Come again. I didn't realize. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Oh my god, I found it on the floor. <laughs> I tweezed my eyebrows last night. And I stopped doing my own eyebrows because I used to get like tweezer happy, if that makes any sense. If you're a girl and you tweeze your own eyebrows, you might understand. It's like, you're like, oh yeah, this hair can go. This hair can go too. I don't need this hair. That can go too. So yeah, that's what I did. And I hope they look okay. Eyebrows are sisters, not twins. But I just want to let you guys know, if you have like a Sally's like beauty, I don't really know what it's called, like Sally Beauty Store or something. Um, these are the best tweezers you will ever get. And they're like 64 cents. And I have used these tweezers since I was in high school, basically. Alright y'all, I just started actually using a pencil on my eyebrows. I showed y'all one time. I showed y'all one time. The eyebrow pen that I use. But it's been in my husband's truck for like... 
weeks now. So I've been trying to use this little guy. I think I do okay. I don't really know. I am by no means a makeup guru. I should probably use a mirror, not my phone, but whatever. And then I'm just going to take my highlighting thing and go around my eyebrows. And voila. You got ready with me. And you heard me rant about being tortured in a nail salon. Hopefully I can get this video edited and up soon. Um, I'm going to try get it done tonight hopefully finish it when I get off work but you know work is hard and I need to cover that but I don't want to put anything on it I mean I've had my nose ring for like math is hard um 17 18 19 20 21 22 six years and I love it and I've only had a couple times and I don't know what kind of material my hoops have always been or like my nose rings have always been but this is sterling silver and it's a 20 gauge and so that means it's just like a little thicker than what i'm used to but once i found the hole i should have recorded that video because that was hilarious but i don't think anybody wants to see inside my nose i don't even want to see inside my nose um like once I found the hole in my nose, it was smooth sailing. Like it just went right in. So I don't think the gauge was too big, but your nose is pierced at like a straight angle, not a curved angle. So it is kind of uncomfortable, but it should take a few days and my nose will be used to it. I used to have a black hoop, but this doesn't have like a stopper on it. Like, oh, there's stuff all over it for my nose. Oh. Uh, like it's just like open and I tried to close it I think that part was like in my nose I mean if the Walmart nose rings didn't hurt my nose I feel like this would be fine but I think I might be allergic to nickel I know that a lot of women can be allergic to nickel I don't know if nickel is in sterling silver I need to look at this I should probably just not put anything in my nose <laughs> no no <laughs> okay goodbye thank you guys so much for watching i know it's a short video i just wanted to post something and i love doing my makeup and yeah i just started doing it again so if you have any tips for me please tell me thank you peace bye